Pet Simulator 99 is coming out very soon, and here's a list of the best features leaked in the trailer. So number 5, the worst thing on this list, but it's still good, gameplay variety. This is kind of cheating putting this all into one, however, you can go fishing, fishing in Pet Simulator 99, that is crazy, you can go mining, like it's basically mining simulator at this point, and there's obbies, there's like obstacle courses to do with like boulders and like traps and that's very cool. There's also abilities, uh, like a coin jar which like falls down on the coins and like, I don't know, it's some bee swarm kind of stuff. But yeah, gameplay variety is huge, and that plays on to number four, the map. The map is kind of like weirdly like long in the horizontal in the horizontal sense instead of the vertical sense. If you get what I mean, in this game it's just very straight. My graphics are low. In this game, it's very straight. It's a straight line. But in Pet Simulator 99, it's got like a long chain and there's like cannons between the areas. Seems pretty cool. Also, there's a, like a world where it's full of water and you actually swim around in it. Like, say it's an Atlantis world, I don't know what the world's called. But you swim around like in a 3D space. Like, say I'm swimming right now, just swimming around the coins and stuff. That's pretty cool. Number three, being able to equip 99 pets at once. I don't know if it's more or less, but I'm pretty sure it's 99. That's just cool and will probably break anyone's lower end device. But I mean, just get a better device, right? <laughs> Number two is also similar, but much cooler because I, I like opening eggs. Being able to open like a hundred eggs at once, I don't actually know how many, but in the trailer it shows them opening 71 at once, but I assume that's not the cap. 71's a weird number to be the cap. And finally, number one. Yeah, I know this is a quick short list, but I, I don't want this video to be super long, but this is the, the, the magnus opus, the main thing which makes this game quite cool for me. The game seems pretty free to play. Yeah, I know. Preston being free to play? What? Obviously, there will be Robux purchases and game passes, but it doesn't seem hyper, hyper, like, Robux intensive. Because opening more eggs at once, you know, I said you can open, like, 99 eggs? That costs gems. And equipping pets as well, equipping, like, 99 pets, that also costs gems. So, it seems like that's not Robux exclusive, because in this game you can get gems just from, like, the piles, so I guess it's kind of the same. And you can get the hoverboard as well for, by, like, levelling up or gems. I actually don't know how you get the hoverboard, but I know you can get it for free. So, if this game's free to play, or, like, free-ish to play, I feel like it's going to be a lot more popular than this game currently. Overall thoughts, though, the game seems very cool and open, however, I am concerned about this feature over here, uh, which allows you to send pets from Pets from X, and it seems unfair, but, I mean, I don't... I don't know why, no. I mean, I'll send this over, I guess. Um, <laughs> I'll transfer these over, um, because I may as well. But, I mean, I'm pretty poor. <laughs> but this is pretty concerning, because I feel like it's going to be overpowered. But, hey, I'll see you guys in 9 days and 21 hours, if you care about Petsim 99. I'll see you tomorrow, if you don't, though.